The real power of Zotero when it comes to working with Word has to do with creating in-text citations from which Zotero will then create its own bibliography at the click of a button. First I'll show you how to add those citations, and to show you that I have to explain a little bit about what Zotero looks like in Word once you have downloaded and installed the Zotero Word add-in. Now if you're in Windows, which I'm not right now, if you're in Windows, you will see right away in your tabs across the top of, of Word, um, you'll see a tab for Zotero. And if you go to that tab, it's going to have some nice little pictures of the different buttons that you have available in Zotero that do different things. That is so easy to use, I'm not even going to show it to you, and plus I'm working on a Mac here, so I'm going to show you what it looks like on a Mac, because that's a little bit less obvious, and it takes a little bit of doing to make it show up where, where you want it to. Um, I'm not sure it even shows up by default at all when you install it, but to get it to show up and, and be able to find it and, and be able to use the little buttons, here's what you do. I'm going up into the menus in Word, which you can't see on screen right now, but I'm going to the View menu, which is where you control what your toolbars and stuff are in Word, and it's pulling down here, here you can see it, and with toolbars, I'm going to pick the Zotero Bibliographic Management toolbar. And it plops that toolbar in here somewhere. I think it's plopping it in that particular spot because that's where I had it the last time that I had it open. It may or may not plop it right there, but just so you know, it's these things right here. Okay, these are your Zotero buttons. And the one that I'll show you first is this leftmost one for inserting the citation. In Windows, these first two buttons here are combined into one, Zotero Add slash Edit. Um, but, but in th this version, actually, the, the Mac version resembles older versions. So if you're running an older version of Windows, an older version of Word, an older version of Zotero install for Word, it's going to look a little bit more like this anyway. So good thing to show you. Anyway, um, so when I want to add an item, say I want to um, right at the end of this first sentence here, I want to cite something. I'm going to put my cursor right there where I want to insert my citation. And then I click this first button, Zotero Insert Citation. I click that. And first time I do this in any given document, it asks me what style I want. It's not going to do this every time. You just have to do that once. Um, I'm going, to collect, I'm going to select this APA 6 edition, and I leave the rest of this thing alone. And then it gives me this little red and white pop-up button thing. And say, and it's asking me, okay, what do you want to insert? And I know that the thing I want to insert and cite there is written by Geiger, you know, often you know the author. So I start typing. <coughs> Excuse me. And the first thing that comes up is this thing that Geiger wrote. So I say, okay, yeah, that one. And I left click on there, and that gives me a chance to add the page. Because a lot of APA and other formats often want to know what page you got the thing from. So if I am taking this particular information from page 52, I can put that in there. These other things, prefix and suffix, you don't use that often. That's if you want to add a little bit of text before your in-text citation or, or a little bit of text after it. You know, like if you want to say um, Geiger, blah, 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 among other people or something, your among other people would be in your suffix, but that's infrequent. What you see a little bit more often is going to be this suppress author. That's going to be, to do that, or you would want to do that in a case where you will actually mention Geiger's name in the sentence. But I didn't do that, so I'm not going to suppress, 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 the, suppress the author, but that's what that's for. Okay. So I've got my page, and then I'm going to click back in here. And then it's really important that you not click back into Word until you've made this box go away. This is sort of the one semi-not intuitive thing about Zotero. Um, you want to make sure that you hit enter to make the box go away. Enter. Okay, there's my in-text citation. And just to show you, for example, if you run into a situation where you want to cite more than one thing at once, you can do that. 
So I go in here and click that first button again. And I want to cite a couple of things that have to do with Missouri. And that's nice. It kind of separates out the things that you've already cited and from the things that you haven't. So I'm going to cite something different here. And click that one. Although, actually, wait a minute. Did I? Anyway, well, I'm going to cite that one and not suppress the author and open it. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to open in my library. Yeah, that's another, you see a button and you, and you just click it. So um, I'm going to see about minimizing Firefox. There we go. Okay, so back in here, I'm not going to open in my library. I'm going to just start typing because remember, I want to add another citation in here, Missouri. And I'm going to cite this other one down here, the Neely. I'm going to give it a page number, and I'm not going to click open in my library. I'm going to click right back in here, and I'm going to click what? Enter. So there is a couple of citations there, and just for fun, I'm going to add another one. All right, well, I'll show you that in a minute. So that's adding citations. Just use that first button after you've made sure that your toolbar is, is showing. Makes it easier to work with.